Okay. Okay, so you're supposed to be getting part two of my trailer build or repair, but that's not going to happen today. Um, I'd like to express some disappoint disappointment in five of my viewers. Yeah, five of my viewers. And some people might say that this is an entrapment or whatever, but it's not entrapment. But last year, in November, I launched my website, OneLonelyFarmer.com, where you can buy t-shirts, hats, not this hat, ball caps, sweatshirts, pullovers, zippies, different types of hoodies, freaking straight necks, whatever. Um, so I launched that website. I also decided to do a social experiment. You know, if you don't know what a social experiment is, it's basically someone goes out into public or somebody puts, uh, does something and expects a, uh, a return. And I decided that I would do a social experiment of my own. Now, through the course of November of last year, December of last year, and January of this year, I sent five people, five of my viewers, double orders of what they had ordered. Uh, and of those five people, not one said, hey, Wesley, uh, you might have screwed up because I got two sweatshirts and they were two separate orders. There wasn't one package with two orders in it. They were two separate packages. And I just wanted to see if anybody would say, hey, Wesley, uh, you know, you uh, sent me a double order. You know, should I send it back or what should I do here? You know, because the reality of it was that I was just going to say, hey, thanks for acknowledging that I made, you know, that I did that and you're a good person. Well, I can honestly say that five of my viewers that actually probably view very regularly uh, got two packages and didn't say a word. Like, who that dumbass Wes Pandy, he sent me two packages. Up yours, Mr. Pandy. Well, you know what? This wouldn't be the first time that I've done a, a simple social experiment or had been, uh, you know, tried, somebody had tried to take advantage of me right immediately after I set up that website. Uh, I'm a generous person. I'll do whatever I can for you. I mean, if you, if you're, if you want something from me and I can give it to you, you know, if it's no, of no use to me anymore or maybe I have two or something like that and you're like, hey, you know what, uh, you know, I'll, I'll send it to you. Now, I watched a, I watched a video by Cutworm1959 uh, and Cutworm is a very generous, 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 beyond generous person. Uh, if you see something in his shop and you say, hey, you know, it just seems, I'm not saying try to pillage the guy's stockpile, but what I'm saying is that I saw on one occasion, I saw something that I, I, I wanted to buy it. I didn't want him to give it to me. I wanted to buy it. And he promptly said to me, uh, it's not for sale, but I'll send it to you. And lo and behold, a box came in the mail. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that very much. Twice now he's done that. The first time was when I was doing the V8. He just said, hey, I've got these parts. Uh, you think you could use them? And I'm like, yeah, cool. And they showed up. I was very grateful. So Steve Rains in uh, Arkansas, thank you very much. I appreciate everything you've done for me. But you other five guys that ripped me off, or you didn't rip me off. I mean, I sent them to you, but you need to really rethink your lives a little bit here. You know, I mean, a little honesty or courtesy goes miles. You know, I wasn't going to ask you to send them back. I wasn't going to ask you, even if I had made the mistake, it would have been, Go ahead and keep it, or hey, you know what? I'll send you, I'll send you ten bucks, and you can mail it back to me, or whatever it is. And they were no small tokens either. I believe both two were a seventy dollar, seventy dollar purchase, and the other three were in their twenties, in the twenty to thirty dollar range. And you know, just a social experiment that didn't work out. Actually. It's making me lose faith in humanity. And even my own viewers, I mean, guys, come on. This is, we all live together in this world, and we don't all have to get along all the time, but take some pride in yourself, and if somebody does something that maybe they made a mistake, or maybe they're just testing you, 
you guys failed the test. It wasn't a mistake. It was done on purpose. But anyway, Cutworm 1959, you keep going. Yeah, you're a good guy. You really are. And I'm, I, I, one of these days, I'm getting myself down to Arkansas, and I'm gonna, we're gonna meet up and maybe we have some fun with some guns, because I got some, I got some fun ones up here that I never show, and I'm pretty sure you got some fun ones too, uh, like that Sten gun. I'd like to take a couple shots with a Sten gun. But anyways, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, and hey. You know, be friendly to your neighbors, even if they're assholes. That's the best way to get back at somebody. If they're an asshole to you, just kill them with kindness. Thanks again.